Andre, uh, thank you very much uh, for having us here at the new headquarters for Porsche North America. A beautiful place. I mean, like just like your cars, this place is like, this is car heaven, I think, right? Well, thank you, Javier. We uh, set out with a very determined mission to create a unique facility uh, reflecting Porsche's values, our historic achievements, but most importantly, creating a destination for fans of anything that moves out there to come and visit us drive the cars and experience more about the brand. To experience something like this before, I mean, you had to go to Europe. There's nothing like this in the U.S. in any brand, right? Yes, so when we started with a clean sheet of paper, we wanted to create a unique novel facility. Um, being a sports car manufacturer, it's all about driving, but we wanted to offer a selection of amenities to create an experience. So from the restaurant, the fine dining restaurant 356, through to the details of a barista bar or a cafe like we have downstairs, various brand messages delivered, touching on uh, certain components of our history, our core values, but also a vision of the future which is reflected in the artistic uh, design of this building. So who can come here and, and what happens when they come here? Uh, good question, Javier. One Porsche drive with the Porsche Experience Center in Atlanta is open to the public, so you can purely visit uh, One Porsche or po visit PorscheDriving.com. We offer driving programs ranging from 90 minutes all the way through to a full day program, and you book whichever vehicle you'd like to drive for how long you'd like to drive, and then uh, simply just come on over and visit us. As for restaurant bookings, uh, you can go to Open Table, and from the beginning of July, that facility will also be open to the public. Okay, and so the racetrack is divided in different aspects of like that, that shows you not only the power and like the performance of the car, but also a lot of uh, things that go with safety and the, the, the capability of the safety systems built into the cars, right? Correct. We refer to it as a driver's demonstration track. Uh, the facility we have out here consists of six modules, one being the off-road module, so there it plays to the strength of the Cayenne, both on-road and off-road performance. Um, the rest of the modules are made up of low friction surfaces. Uh, you really can test the dynamic ability of the car. Twofold, you demonstrate the technologies that are contained within the vehicle in a controlled and safe environment. Important as well, you've got a drive coach sitting next to you throughout the journey, so they'll coach and educate and help you to develop your skill set during the tenure that you spend with us. And then also, from a safety point of view, you get familiarized with the safety systems and maybe emergency conditions that, for, for instance, are simulated with the low friction surfaces where yeah. the car gets out of control. It's a very unique situation to the driver where, it, where it's foreign to them. Under these circumstances, it is simulated, so uh, you are then conditioned to bring the vehicle back under control and you develop that confidence, hopefully in the future, when you face in a, situa a situation such as that, you can optimize and make the best uh, of this, the situation to benefit yourself. Yeah, we experienced that today, this morning, and it was a little bit rain, so it made it even <laughs> a little bit more challenging, which was great too. Also, the off-road course with the Cayenne was amazing. The off-road course is extremely, I think, daunting. Um, the approach and departure angles are some of the most severe within the Porsche universe. Um, we wanted to make it a strong component of the experience out here. So once you've gone through it the first occasion, I think the second time around you develop the degree of confidence and then you uh, approach it with a little bit more diligence. Yeah. So here uh, at the track you have a lot of uh, drivers with a lot of experience. That's also like what the experience will be for the customers coming in, like they will drive with him and they will teach everybody? Correct. Um, instead of the conventional lead-follow philosophy, which uh, many of the other institutions offer, this is all about the experience. So uh, you get familiarized with Porsche technologies, uh, rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicles, but you will always have a Porsche-trained driving coach next to you. Um, they will help and condition you as far as the accelerator uh, control is concerned, steering control, also brakes. And then as you go around the handling circuit, gradually help you to up your speed. It's also about the balance of the vehicle and learn to optimize your ability 
complementing that of the vehicle and getting the most out of your experience out here. So whether it be the rear-wheel drive 911 or the mid-engines of the Boxster Cayman or the Panamera in a front-engine configuration, um, the guys are all trained to give you the optimum exposure to what is quintessentially Porsche, our experience. Yeah, because nowadays with all that technology, I mean, like you really need to, to give you some time to learn and to take advantage of everything that is in the cars. I mean, it's not used to be like... You turn on the car and now you go. Now you really have to know what's in it. There are so many complicated electronics and safety systems, uh, proactive uh, safety systems uh, which avoid accidents. Or, but people are never exposed to what happens when uh, those systems actually kick into play. So this simulates those kind of environments, and then it prepares you should you, sometime down the line or in the future be exposed to an emergency situation such as that, how you are conditioned, how you should react and hopefully um, you know, maneuver the vehicle out of the emergency situation so that you safe come out on the other side. So this place just opened, like you had the grand opening a few weeks ago, uh, and just by the airport here in Atlanta we see like planes going by all the time which is adds like a little bit more or more action to the place. But you're making another investment in LA to do something similar to this, right? Yes, um, we started these both these projects initially uh, back in of 2010, beginning of 2011, because this was our corporate head- headquarters. Uh, the priority was to finish one Porsche drive here in Atlanta, and uh, at the same time, we are in the advanced stages also of the facility called the Porsche Experience Center, Los Angeles, out in Carson City on the west coast. It's about 15 minutes south of LAX Airport. Very similar footprint, uh, just bigger. The, the, the race, uh, the racetrack environment there will be, will be about two and a half times the size we have here in Atlanta. And um, there, the Experience Center will also be next to or adjacent to our uh, Porsche Motorsport North America headquarters. So, unique configuration, but the experiences offered to the customers and to the people visiting the facility will be of similar nature. So, these investments, uh, big investments are here in the North American market, I mean, are a reflection of how good the company is doing, right? I mean, like, you can pretty much can sell every car that you're making and probably you could sell more if you could make more, right? I think uh, as Porsche we are very fortunate, we've worked very hard that we've achieved tremendous success in in recent years. Sales are growing and profitability is growing, so um, you know, a strong reflection of good product, good people, and ultimately it's about the unique ownership experience, uh, getting the quality right, and then a vital component for us is the experience centers per se as part of a global strategy which we're rolling out. So East Coast now being a footprint number one, followed by the West Coast put, foot, footprint, we're creating a destination for customers to, and uh, non-customers, just the public, to come and enjoy, be afforded the opportunity to drive a Porsche, anything from 90 minutes, ranging up to a full day. That's great. Well, thank you very much for everything. We experienced the track this morning, and now we're going to do the other part inside the building, which, by the way, is... Even though we're here by the airport, you don't hear any planes because this is like the construction of this place is also fantastic, as just the cars are. So we don't hear anything. We're going to go to the lab, to the simulator. There's a lot to be seen inside the building, too. Yes, um, we mentioned it starting off with the Carrera Cafe, some details from the first edition of the 911 uh, more than 50 years ago. You see those signature touches. The Human Performance Center driving is about... Uh, you know your driver skill set but also about the psychology and your physical condition so you can come and run a full analysis on your BMI uh, look at where that we can work on a conditioning program with some highly skilled and, and trained people here uh, also do your reaction test there just to see how you compare up against some of the best in the business uh, there'll be the simulators there's an exclusive consultation facility where you can uh, basically configure your bespoke very unique Porsche with high attention to detail with any one of our specialized consultants. Um, Coupled with us we've got uh, seven business stroke conference room facilities for meetings to take place, a classic center with a a heritage center where we'll exhibit some cars from yesteryear, uh, or prolific race cars. We have a classic restoration center as well where um, you know in the market you want to buy a car and have it restored the, uh, the team out here will be able to facilitate and assist you with that, and it could be done within the Porsche universe itself. That's great. Again, like this is now like, uh, I mean, it's a Porsche destination, but it's like a tourist destination for Atlanta. I think you're giving Atlanta something really, really big. And actually the whole country, I mean, like this is a big hub for like 
big airlines, but now people have another reason to come to Atlanta, I think. Well, with us being literally five minutes away from Hartsfield-Jackson Airport, it makes for a fantastic uh, destination, and people just connecting through Atlanta can quickly sneak to the Experience Center here and come for a three-hour experience before they connect or reconnect with their flight, whether it be uh, you know, across the pond uh, abroad or other connections within the U.S. But uh, just, I heard that because because we're within the limits of the airport, you have to book it. You cannot just show up to the door and come in, right? Yeah, you need to go to Porsche Drive. Uh, or call us via our call center. Um, literally, I think anything within half an hour to, to 20, 20 odd minutes, if you oh, book, okay. it can be accommodated. Uh, just from a security protocol, you register at the gate, but then uh, we'll be welcome to, we'll be thrilled to welcome any member of the public to join us here at the Experience Center. Excellent. Thank you very much again for your time, and we're going to keep enjoying the, the portion the experience here in Atlanta. It's been my pleasure, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.